stakes energy. I'm speaking out about my rapist, Jennifer Kalin, and being as open and vulnerable as possible to try and get all of these feelings out, even in the ways that I know TERFs are gonna use to try and gaslight me and say that wasn't really the R word when she coerced and forced me into my first PIV experience without even using a goddamn condom after spending our relationship grooming me into sex acts that she could write off as not really sex and that homophobes try to write off as not really sex after sexually assaulting me to just grab my dick and grab my hand and put it in her pants for the first of these times and tell me that I needed to do things to her she just started doing things to me after I had told her that I didn't want to have sex and wanted to wait until marriage, which is no. I was Catholic, I had made a promise to God and my parents that I wouldn't have sex till marriage. But moving on. And, and there's more to waiting until marriage than that. But moving on. So, when we moved out together, by that time, she had groomed me into fingering and hand jobs and frauding, all of which is sex. And I went to confession all the time because I felt like I was having sex before marriage because I was because she had groomed me into it and was saying it's not real sex. And when we moved out together, she would start just coming into the room. There was several occasions that she did this. She would come into the room naked with massage oil and start putting it on herself and tell me that she wanted me to start touching her and then that she wanted me to have sex with her. And I would tell her, no, I want to wait till marriage and I would leave the room. And one night she was on top of me. She insisted that we needed to do it. I told her I don't want to have sex, I want to wait till marriage. She kept pushing back and coercing back with, but we're already married in spirit. As I responded, no, I don't want to have sex, I want to wait till we're married, we're not really married, and she would push back again, but we're already married in spirit. Until crying, I was like, okay, and that's not consent. And she grabbed my dick and put it in her 